Hi everyone, we are here with 23 days to go and it has been a crazy ride over the last few days. For instance, we're in the same room. Yeah. This never happens. <laughs> so, you're home for how many days? I've been home for a grand total of four and a half days. Very exciting to wow. be here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nice to be here, sleep in my own bed, experience jet lag. It's wonderful. <laughs> I know that the uh, boys are pretty excited that uh, Jeff is home, and I'm sure loving it myself, really. It's a short time, but it's a good time. <laughs> Good to be home. It's good to be home. Yeah. So since Jeff got home, it has been um, really crazy, but good crazy. Um, the book response has really just taken off, and uh, we had the opportunity to do an interview together yesterday with McLean's magazine. And um, the interview itself was fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've never done an interview together before, ever. Uh, so that was, um, well, I guess we've done a couple over the phone with some newspapers, but this one was in person, so we were sitting being interviewed together. So, that was interesting. The most fun, though, was the photo shoot. <laughs> what would you say about the photo shoot? It was fun, it was good, it was part of the deal, so <laughs> I had a really good photographer, actually. It was really fun, because he gave us a lot of direction, and yeah. really was aware of where our hands were and which way our shoulders were turned and so that was an interesting experience and that was really cool yeah yeah and some of the poses he had us doing were hilarious <laughs> i have a video but unfortunately it's not in a format that uh is loved right now so i'm just in the process of converting it and i will put all that together and uh post it up for you but i'm telling you very fun <laughs> Uh, really, really fun experience with McLean's Magazine. That is actually going to be in print next week, so really, really quickly uh, we'll be able to see that. Today was, um, we're really tired. A big day. <laughs> We've been up since really tired. 5 a.m. and we started with... Started with Canada AM at 6.40, which yeah. we thought was on at 6.40 in Calgary, so lots of our friends got up early and it wasn't on until 8.40 in Calgary, so... Sorry about that, everyone who got up early. Yeah, hope you were up for work so anyway. We. Yeah, so it was a really early morning, and that was also a really fun interview to do. At um, We were in the CTV Calgary studios and were interviewed um, from the CTV headquarters in Toronto, but it was a really nice interview. That was also another first, so that was our very first television interview first, together. First time together, yeah, so... Then we moved on to, or I moved on to the team announcement, Olympic team announcement at a school nearby with 7,000 kids, it sounded like. 700, 700 I think. 700 kids. <laughs> Crazy kids in the gym. That was really cool. Uh, good team announcement. Got lots of energy, and it was fun. And, and there was the TV and the newspapers, everyone interviewing us. So that was really cool. Uh, way better than previous team announcements. So that was, that was great. Yeah, I have to say, the kids at Olympic Heights Elementary were phenomenal. They, again, I have, excuse me, I have video about this that is, um, I will put together and post, but those kids had lined the entire hallway, all the way from the staff room down to the gymnasium, and were cheering and waving flags for, I think, like a good half hour before, before, you know, the athletes ever came out, and then the kids in the gymnasium, same, sitting there waving their flags, doing different chants, cheering, like, oh, to be young and have that much energy. Yeah. They never stop. Their excitement was overwhelming, and it really, really was very well handled by the school and by the media. And uh, Thank you very much to Chris Dornan, who does mm -hmm. so, so much work for Bobsleigh uh, Canada Skeleton and, and for us, and he's just, he's awesome. So that was brilliant. Um, it was a very, very full day. So... Uh, <laughs> Now so, it's time for bed. <laughs> now it's time for bed. So Jeff is leaving again on Friday. Friday, two days, a well, day and a half really. And then I'm in Whistler until it's over. And then I get to come home for more than four days. Yeah, yeah. So we're excited for, for Jeff to go and be able to see the village and get a few more runs down the track and really kind of settle in before it all starts. And at the same time... Four weeks is a long time. <laughs> yeah. another, another long four week, but the last long four week. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're looking forward to March 1st again, and um, well, what do we say? This is kind of the last go at it. 
So, um, okay. That's it for us, everyone. Yep, so, good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye.